You're welcome back. It's still the breakfast on uh, Plus TV Africa. And uh, remember that when the present administration came on, on the 29th of May, uh, the promise was that the economy was going to grow, maybe like to 6% uh, or so, and uh, Nigerians are going to breathe a sigh of relief because uh, we're going to have so much money, we're going to have our lives improved, and a lot of things were promised us. And one of the things that the government is trying to do is to look into tax and taxation. So on the program this morning, we'll be dealing with improving tax reforms for economic growth in Nigeria. And to do justice to that, we have Mr. Gabriel Folusho Fashoto, the managing, uh, managing partner, Gabe Fashoto and co, chartered accountants and tax practitioners. Good morning and welcome to the program, Mr. Fashoto. Good morning, viewers. Good morning. Okay, it, this question never gets old. What really qualifies as tax? Simple as it sounds, but a lot of us are confused what really is tax. What we are paying in the motor parks is that tax. What we are paying when we are selling our crayfish is that tax. What is really tax? before we go into trying to improve what this tax is? Well, tax, simply put, is a levy on citizens by the government. And that particular levy paid is not specifically allocated to the payer's direct benefit. That is, I may pay tax in Lagos State and it may be used for the uh, infrastructural development in Borno State. I shouldn't say because I pay my tax in Lagos, it should be used to develop the infrastructure in Lagos. That distinguishes tax from levy. If, a, if there is a particular levy, it means that there must be direct benefit to the payer. Then we also have penalty, which is the direct result of a particular offense. So those are the mutually two uh, variances. Uh, we are having between yeah. tax, and the levies, penalties. Because when people, when people think about tax, it, every money they pay, we just call it tax. Like I mentioned, you're paying at the, the motor park, you're paying levies or maybe tax, we don't know what it is. You're paying monies uh, when you're sitting at the roadside and selling. Uh, the federal government will come, the st state government will come, the local government will come, and so many people will come. People who do not even have identity also will come, and then we do not know what is tax and what is levy anymore. How is tax collected? What, how is it collected that it can be known to be tax and not levy? Is it just what you collect from the salaries? Is it just what you, uh, co uh, corporate organizations pay? What, how, how is it collected right now in Nigeria? Well, uh, the, the network was not stable, but if I could hear you very well, you sort of mention multiplicity of taxes mm -hmm. as well as the usage utility of such taxes collected if i must talk about yeah. the, uh, multiplicity yeah i'm of saying taxes, multiplicity you know, of collection government in nigeria okay uh yeah, I was saying multiplicity in money paid because right now I'm a, I don't want to use whether tax or levies, but multiplicity in money paid. Which of these monies are tax and which of them are not tax? Okay, as I've just explained, yes, majority of uh, the uh, levies being collected may not be categorized tax tax but in nigeria you know if a if a local government should come to my house and collect tenement rate and should collect a penalty 
for uh, traffic offense and so on and so forth. Everything is categorized as tax. Mm. But in the technical sense of it, they are not taxes. Okay. But the question is this. How do we even utilize the taxes, the levies, the penalties we collect mm. from the citizens? I think if you're able to resolve that particular question, then it will assist the citizens to even understand the difference mm. between the tax levies and their penalties. Mm. But, you know, in the real sense of it, we, Nigeria is bedeviled with multiplicity of taxes because I can even say that the, the three tiers of government, they, are not, they appear not to be helping matters. Apart from the federal government level, which is uh, carrying out the uh, assessment and collection of tax. What still the local government appear not to be happy matters. Mm. There are certain preconditions for charging taxes. Even if you are going to levy penalties, if you are going to charge citizens levies, there are certain preconditions, but we are not following such. Uh, let me come back to the issue of Finance Act 2023. I want to thank the President and uh, Commander-in-Chief of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, who saw a flaw in the enactment of that Finance Act 2023. That act was signed into law on the 28th of May with retroactive commencement date of 1st of May, but with the variation uh, uh, executive order, the commencement date was pushed to 1st of September this year. That is very commendable because the precondition for a tax to be said to be fair should be that it should not be retroactive. People should know what type of tax they are to pay the quantum, and how they are going to pay it. Mm. But if you are just levying a tax on a particular day and then you are backdating the commencement date, it creates problems for the taxpayers. Know fully well that tax... We've lost the audio of Mr. Fashoto, uh, Fashoto, and um, we're hoping that we can get him back to even talk about the meat of the matter, which is improving reforms of the tax. Okay. Yeah, we lost your audio for a while there, Mr. Fashoto. Sorry for that. Go right ahead. Okay. Okay. So, tax should not be recreative. The major problem we are facing with tax in this country happens to be this utilization of taxes. And we have to give the federal government kudos for setting up this fiscal policy and tax reform committee. Okay. Uh, I'm happy that the state government, as well as the local government, they are having representation in that particular committee. You know, unlike in other climes, we look at tax from the perspective of the federal government alone. We even look at the budgetary provision from the perspective of federal government alone. Whereas it's supposed to be the budget of the federal, state, and local governments together, combined. That's what we're supposed to be considering. And when you are talking about the tax, how tax is going to fund the expenditure of these three tiers of government? Currently, for this year, Nigeria budgeted uh, 10 point something trillion and expected Okay, the audio of Mr. Fashato again has gone. Um, we do hope that he rejoins us soon. 
Uh, the network seems not to be very friendly this morning, but we're talking about improving tax reforms for economic growth in Nigeria. We're trying to establish what really is tax, what constitutes what we call tax, and the difference between the real tax and just ordinary levy and uh, penalties, as, as he put it. And then he was talking also about uh, how these uh, taxes are used, the utilization of these taxes for the benefit of the nation. Uh, Mr. Fashato, sorry again we lost your audio, but let's just go into, um, you have just said that um, the, a committee has been set to look into improving tax. Now what would be your recommendations uh, for this committee if you were to give these recommendations? How can we improve uh, tax or how can we reform our tax system in Nigeria? Well, my recommendation will be as follows. I'm happy that the committee, the people, the, uh, the people that are members of that particular committee, they are well-respected people and they can deliver for good tax reform for this country. I've gone through a term of reference of that committee. Uh, they are having 30-day delivery, deliverables, six months deliverable and possibly three years uh, deliverable over here, thereafter. Now, the starting point I would have loved that particular committee to take up would be the harmonization of the uh, of, of the identification of the taxpayers in the country, because that is still a major problem. If you are not able to identify your taxpayers, it may be a problem. In the in at state level, we are having different taxpayers identification. That is in uh, taxpayers identification at local government level. I do, I doubt even if we have that particular identification numbers. At uh, federal government level, we are having different taxpayer identification units. There was an attempt at the joint tax board at a particular time to harmonize this, but it was stalled, possibly because of uh, funding. So if this committee is able to harmonize that as quickly as possible, that will be the starting point. With that taxpayer identification, I believe that we'll be able to know those people who are up to date in their tax payment, those who are not up to date, and those people who are even outside the tax net. I'm happy that the committee has decided that they will not recommend any increase in rate or recommending additional tax where it is necessary. Mm. Okay. We still have a lot of people outside the tax net, yeah. and for some majority that are inside the tax net, they are still not paying the right tax and at the right time. I believe that if Nigeria is able to harness its tax resources adequately, we will be able to generate times three of our total expenditure yearly, as it is right now. If you are budgeting 10 point something trillion, that means that we are capable of generating more than 30 trillion every year. Nigeria is capable of doing that. But, the only when, thing is that we need to put the right peg in the right hole. When we get to that uh, point where more people outside the tax net can be brought into the tax net, is there a possibility that these rates could reduce rather than just remain there or move, for, move up? Yes. Surely, you know, in bringing more people into the tax net, there are certain things that have to be done. We need to have tax amnesty. For those people who have not been paying their taxes regularly before and they are afraid to come into the tax net, they if they tax amnesty, they will be forgiven those taxes they did with the regulations. Then as we got the rate, that is serve as incentive for those people who are paying their taxes regularly. We should be able to identify those people and then reduce the rate for some as incentive for them. Now, talking about tax incentive, I, I realize that uh, it's part of the 
a new committee set up by the federal government to look into the tax incentive. There is nothing bad with tax incentive, but what we have refused to do in this country is to actually control the utilization of the tax incentive. You have given waivers to uh, as, uh, companies springing up in new sectors of the economy. But after the grace period you have given to them for not paying tax, nobody has gone back to know whether they have utilized the tax, uh, the, the, the tax given to them, uh, uh, the tax discount given to them, the utilization of it for, the, for their production, for the economic benefits of Nigeria. This, our, this is the beginning of our problem. We need to assess the, the benefits of the tax incentives given so that we know whether those who, who are given incentive they are worthy to be allowed to enjoy that tax incentive or they need to be penalized for not utilizing the, 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 the incentive that they have been given. Now, in moving the tax reform forward, we need to conscientize Nigerians about payment of the taxes. Payment of tax is not a bad idea, but rather it is how you are utilizing that tax. And the administration of such taxes. In Nigeria, a lot of people see you going to the tax office declaring your income as a body, because it is at that time that the tax office will start running after you. So even demand for more income than you are any and for the purpose of taxing you i think that is very punitive they should see people coming up voluntarily to pay their taxes as people who are good citizens and they should encourage them to discharge their obligations i believe that the current uh, government they are tilting towards that uh, that uh, 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 positive approach concerning taxes. But I will also end because there are so many states in Nigeria that are still not encouraging, uh, you know, the conducive atmosphere for taxation in the country. Okay, just a final one here. Um, I'm just asking you on a personal note, how much confidence do you have that uh, uh, all these reforms that will be spoken about by the committee uh, will be successful, especially knowing the kind of challenges we have regarding data. Data in Nigeria is a problem. Uh, the population census has their own data. INEC has their own data. The banks have their own data. Everybody just has their own data. We don't even know the actual population of Nigeria right now. How much of success do you think can be recorded with the kind of challenges we have in data, data gathering and analysis and storage? Well, provided the current president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, um, Ashwa Jubola Ahmed Nubu, is still the same person he was when he was the uh, governor of Lagos State. I have very great confidence in the workability of the tax reform he has just introduced. You know one thing in taxation, you need the, the, the confidence, the backing, the support, the political will of the CEO to be able to succeed in your tax reform approach. Right. It was in, when he was the governor of Lagos State that he backed up the uh, Lagos State Internal Revenue Service to reform the tax uh, taxation in Lagos State, and it worked out. And thereafter, every governor there uh, in Lagos State, they have been giving support, they have been giving a uh, political will. So okay. at federal level, if he is able to give the same support okay. to taxation, I believe that we should be able to overcome the issue of data collection challenge All in right. the country. Okay. As the chairman, as the president, as the chairman of that uh, committee has stated, we don't need so many fragmented uh, uh, identification numbers like BBN, like uh, NIM, like uh, you know, 
different uh, uh, identification numbers. We don't need that. Let's pick one, like me, for individuals as well as uh, uh, incorporation uh, numbers for companies. Okay. Then we are going to go. Once we are able to do that, we should be able to overcome the data collection challenges in the country. Okay. I, I wish we had more time. I would have asked, picked your brain on some other things. But uh, this is how far we can go on the program today uh, with this topic. Thank you so much, Mr. Fashoto, for coming on the program. It's my pleasure. Thank you. Okay, that was Mr. Gabriel Folusho Fashoto, uh, the managing director uh, of. Um, in short, uh, the managing partner, Gabe Fashoto and Company Chartered Accountants and Tax Practitioners. He was talking to us about reforms in the tax, uh, in taxation and everything that has to do with tax. Uh, we are going to take a very, very short break now and when we return, we'll be talking about uh, cervical cancer and what is uh, in the offing for women. Stay with us.